Hey YouTube, we're here with a YCS Las Vegas top deck profile. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Ed. And what place did you get? Uh, I got top 16, but I got first after Swiss. And what were you playing today? I played uh, Monarch. Why did you decide to play Monarch this Because it is the best deck if you draw good. <laughs> okay, uh, you want to show us your build? Yeah. Uh, I play three black dudes. He's really good. Like these guys are like your main engine. Like you try to summon him turn one. After every other turn, you summon him. Uh, this guy like stops you from getting OTK. I should have played three of this. This was like honestly the best monarch. It, like, it stops you from breaking because you can pop like random cards to draw more cards. And then um, when you play uh, this card, you can summon it on your turn to stop them from making plays. Like the uh, Pepe deck plays three eccentric arch fiends, so uh, I would always summon this to pop it. Uh, this guy sucks. I sided him out. It should have just been a third Karaz. Every handle where I break, it's because I couldn't get my engine going because uh, I couldn't summon uh, a roof. I, I couldn't dump a spell trap. Uh, everyone's gonna think I suck for this, but I play two idea because um, it's dead more often than not. Because if you draw any Edoses, the next one would be dead. And then if you ever summon one, you only need one because if it ever resolves, then um, you can just get it back. But I still play three Edos because. Uh, like, I don't know, really good. <laughs> uh, I played two chicken games because I want to draw cards. Also with Karaz, lets you draw uh, way more. Um, two reasoning. I play this card because I play a bunch of levels and the only c bad cards to hit are uh, Aether. If you hit a Rubus, it's like foolishing a Rubus or summoning it. If you hit any of these guys, you're basically uh, just draw, uh, dumping, you're foolishing them. And then uh, games two and three, when you play against uh, Floodgate decks, Reasoning turns into an MST when you have Karaz because like there's so many games where they have Mask Restrict I go Reasoning they call like 8 or 1 and then I hit a Karaz and I pop two, uh, two cards and then it unbreaks me um, 3 Pepe doesn't get a play um, Yeah, pretty much no cards. Yeah, no. they don't get a play like <laughs> simply put uh, It kind of sucks game 2 and 3 because more often than not like They're gonna have like MSC's Dark Hole stuff like that So game 2 and 3 <coughs> try to win off like card advantage through Monarchs or just OTK uh, three upstart, two real ones, um, because I uh, just want more consistency. Uh, three stormforth, because you gotta interact with your opponent on their turn when you have aether, and it's really good in the mirror and good against Cosmo. Uh, three of every other card in my deck. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much it. it. Just gets anything I want. Uh, if I open up this card, I feel like I'm gonna win because it's already like a guaranteed plus if it's live, and. Like, the deck plays a lot like Spellbook, where if you uh, don't die the next turn, you get a plus way more. Uh, three Black Whirlwind. I don't know why anyone would play less than three, because uh, this card plays around Strike, and that's the only thing you lose to. So if you have this on the field, the only thing that beats you game one is Warning. So you play around like the most widely played trap cards, so it's really good. Uh, this card's good because all you want to do is interact on your opponent's turn. Like summoning a Rubus and hitting like their eccentric is usually just game against Pepe. Or tripping their ship, shuffling back Cosmotown. And then three win conditions. This is how I win like a lot of my games because uh, this is literally Spellbook of Tower. I get to draw cards. And then against Cosmo and against other decks, I don't get OTK. Uh, yeah, there's no extra deck. As you know, Monarch. Really? Yeah. Uh, Two to Cree, this card was broken. I think I should have sided three. Even though it's like counterintuitive because they side MSTs and Twin Twisters, a lot of people side Magical Deflector. That card's super lame. So Royal Decree like destroys them. And it beats like Key Beetle and stuff like that. Uh, two Breakthrough, it's only for the mirror. It's really good at when you stop Aethers on their turn. Uh, two Curse Seal because against the mirror, if you hit Stormforth, it's broken, you win. I didn't play any mirrors though, so like literally useless. Three, this card, this card's so broken, should not be allowed. Like, literally, I never lost the Massacre Restrict. Every time I had an answer with this card, because I played double, I played like so many draw cards, I always got to it, it always got me there. Uh, two of Vecbiano, good against Pepe, only going second, because if they play Nat Beast, you automatically lose, and it's good against the Mirror. I don't want to play against FTK, because that deck is lame. And then Ghost Ogre, it was like the best card on my side against Pepe and against Mermail. Like um, when uh, they summon Megalo and activate effect tribute, you basically stop it, you kill them. Huh? And then it stops um, it, it stops Monkey Board. Yeah, that's a uh, cool
Cool. Any shout outs you like to give? Uh, shout outs to Nick Castillo. He's my best friend. Shout outs to Team Ryan's car. I beat Ryan Murakami, the UDS champion. Uh, round two. He's not even there. Uh, shout outs to <laughs> shout outs to Jobber. Shout outs to Paulina. Shout outs to Adrienne. Uh, Team Ryan's car and multi monster deals. Ooh. Jake's the douche TV. Yeah. That guy's cool. Oh, and Anson. All right. Uh, cool. Congratulations. Thank uh, you again. Thank you.